So for those of you that have just joined us, welcome, welcome. I'm Bex Bate from Social Media Executive and today we're going to be talking about chat gbt i'm doing a live demonstration and i've got a very special guest here graham heap who's going to be doing the live and showing us how it works because graham tell us you've been doing um uh, using chat PT, gpt haven't you a lot for your business and it's helped with your social media absolutely yeah mm. yeah so what, what i use is in fact called ai gpt um, there are lots of different GPTs, not just chat GPT, um, which is the one you've all heard of and is all, all over social media. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick, uh, give you a demonstration, a couple of examples of how it works, and how efficient it is and how it's going to save you hours and hours of time. And, uh, and you won't need to use Bex anymore, of course, after you've used it. So, oh, sorry, Bex. <laughs> well, actually, nobody uses me anyway because I don't write anyone's social media oh, posts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you're all right, Graham. That's why I've let you on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're right, absolutely right, actually, because mm. people who do do social media management and who do, you know, a blog and copywriters, they've been, been a bit worried, haven't they? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, but I think like, like all these things, I think they'll still be useful. And I think people, uh, you know, there are there are limitations to uh, AI at the, sorry, GPT at the moment, because uh, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't suit your style. Um, and, you know, everybody tends to have their own little, little foibles and uh, different ways that they do things. So you do need to edit it some of the time because it can, can be a bit bland sometimes, but sometimes you can be pleasantly surprised. I can come up with you uh, some very good examples. Yeah, so, so for those of you that don't know about the, the AI, what we're talking about today is basically fantastic AIs, whereby you can type a topic in and it automatically writes a post for you and or a blog for you. And I think it's amazing, really, because I used to dabble with these probably about five years ago. And quite honestly, they were rubbish. They um, were obviously written with a robot. There were no sort of emotions in there. Um, and the information that they were pulling up really wasn't particularly correct. But actually now, they're pretty good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And you can um, uh, you can use it for any subject you like. You can use it either just to write, write whole blogs. You can use it to uh, write headlines. You can just use it to come up with ideas or even just ask it, ask it to give you advice on various subjects. That, uh, so it's, um, yeah, it, it, it works really efficiently. John? Do you want me to give you a demonstration? Yeah, let's have a demonstration. And actually, Zine has just said in the chat that she's just started using ChatGPT to draft blogs. So she's mm -hmm. interested in some, some tips. So let me, let's share the screen and you can give us a live demonstration of exactly yep. how it works. Okay. Okay. Right. There we go. All right. So uh, I have to do it directly on my tab, I take it. Oh, hang on. I've disappeared. Okay, so uh, I've, I've actually already set this up so to uh, uh, make it um, easier to use. Um, and normally you would write the code. You see this is the code up here, equals GPT, B1, B2, 1. Um, is that, and does it? Does it set that up all, already for you, uh, you? Yes, when you, um, no, I've, I've edited that slightly. Um, but uh, when we've got that, I've got a document which I can, you can send to everybody or share, share with everybody, which tells you how to set it up. Okay. Um, and this particular one, AI GPT works uh, in Google, Google Docs, but there are ones that work in Excel or, or uh, some even work in Word. So it just, um, or, or their equivalents. So, for example, if I write in here under action, if I write um, uh, um, give me 10 ideas for a LinkedIn post uh, on how to arrange I, I, I work in the uh, in the probate and death industry, so this is a this is one that I might come up with. Ah, so you have to put the action in, give me ten ideas, and then the yeah. subject matter. Yep. Yeah. How to arrange a funeral, for example. Mm. Okay. So if I just open this up a bit. And while that loads, oh, you, it was already come up. All oh, right. Yeah, okay. It's already come That's up great. there. So you've got these. So tips. So these are ten ideas for posts. Tips for choosing the right funeral home. Tips types of funeral service. 
understanding funeral costs. So if you're if you're a, a loss for ideas on post to write or anything like that, you can um, just change that bit on how to arrange a funeral, um, and it will come up with ten ideas for your particular industry or, or your business. Oh. Yeah. Or you could, um, having done that, you could actually get it to write a blog for you. So you can say, um, write a five hundred word blog on uh, any 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 suggestions for subject um i'm going to go with how to increase engagement on social media Oops, how to, God, okay, if you're watching this live <laughs> and you want to put in the chat some ideas on what you want graham to write about do put it in the chat well we can we can do a live one for you that's uh, just an example that's not exactly what you said i remember no it doesn't matter i'll forgive you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, alex has found whilst that's loading as well alex has said in the chat that she's found it better for short post type things or longer blog type so that's what she's been using it for yeah mm -hmm, yeah i mean it, it's going to increase in power and effectiveness um as it gets used by more and more people and uh, as you say a 500 word blog takes a bit longer than uh, Oh, error. Um, I was um, at the execution time. Let's turn, let's let's decrease that five hundred then to. Uh, I'll just make it two hundred. Yeah, keep it. Up. Yeah. I interestingly because I use um, I use barely AI. I use ChatGPT. Although interestingly, I don't use it in the um, Excel file. I kind of there's a different format you can use it in as well. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, I'll post I'll post it in the comments. But I use mm -hmm. I use them and then. Um, you can actually, I was given a really good feedback on one of my YouTube videos. I was very busy at the time, really, really tired. So I just took it, I copied that, and I put it into ChatGPT and said, write me a response for this. And it was really good. It was yeah. just like a really nice response. And interestingly, mm -hmm. um, it was from an American guy. Uh, and the response came back with sort of American, uh, American, um, so it, it taught it was in the, his, was that sort of language it came in the american americanisms i suppose within the within the words and it was just really nice to uh, respond and i thought that's a great way of connecting with your community if you're talking in their language and it was yeah. quite informal mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah oh we're yeah, writing love letters now that came a very quick one write a 200 word love letter to a new girlfriend oh, sorry. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe so so Graham, tell us how does it get all this data, and where does it get it well, from? Well, basically, there are there are several uh, very large AI computers. Here we are, my dearest love. As I sit down to put my thoughts into words and pour my heart out to you, I realise that no words could ever do truly do justice to the way. <coughs> where is it? Uh, the way I feel about you, my heart overflows with love and adoration. This is how I feel about you, Bex. Of course, that. Uh... Well, yes, of course. Thanks, <laughs> Graham. <laughs> <laughs> but but what, that, what that demonstrates is that you know there really are no limits to what you can write about or, or you could use it to write for you and um, the range of sub range of subjects and the um, details and you can you can limit the length of it or you could just ask it to come up with lists and, uh, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and I think as well you need to take it with a pinch of salt. I actually um, constructed a live stream based mm -hmm. around with the AI. It was a couple of weeks ago now, and I created the content for it um, and it was great actually because it came up with sort of five key points mm -hmm. however you do have to be careful don't you because some of it was a bit outdated some of it was information that it got from the internet back from 2021 some yeah. of it was outdated it doesn't always name the sources of where you're getting that information for so no. you do need to fact check it don't you you do, you absolutely do, um, and they will. I mean, if you come up and ask for examples of um, cases, I, I I did one the other day asking for um, ten examples of how DNA has been used to catch criminals, uh, and in fact, two two of them were completely wrong, and the dates were wrong on it. But the the other, the, all the rest of them were were spot on. But yeah, definitely yeah. check. Uh, but they're going to get better, better and better. And you, um, so what, what shall I write five key points on? Five key points on 
how to um oh now you've put me on the spot five key points on how to maintain a website i got that Zina Zina's on the um Zina's watching live so uh, <laughs> what we'll do is web web one so i would recommend when people are using this to do it as sort of using it as a good base and a good structure yeah. but then mm -hmm. you do have to put your own in it. Mm -hmm. ah now Zena, if you're what if you're still watching live you can tell us what you think to these so we've got regularly update and monitor the website optimize mm -hmm. web performance ensure website security regularly back up the website engage with website visitors mm -hmm. I mean, but, yeah, so, so some of it, uh, some of the examples of, of the bleeding obvious, but um, you can, uh, um, obviously you can write more key points, but it's useful again, useful as a, as a blog subject, as a, as a part of a blog post or anything or something like that, or, or just to remind yourself sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Well, Zena was impressed. We, we picked that one. Um, we've mm -hmm. just had someone ask from Facebook, mm -hmm. can I just ask? For blogs, how does it work with Google Analytics? Do you have parameters for long tail keywords and short tail keywords, for example, or H1 stroke H2 headings, etc.? Right. Um, so um, please advise me. On oh, yeah. So how... when... That's a good idea. We're going to ask ChatGBT the yes. answer because myself yeah. and Graham are not. Animals. Is it long form experts? Key are they called long form keywords? Long form keywords. Yeah. yeah. So for those who watch long form keywords, they're just keywords obviously that you have to put in your website to help it mm -hmm. rank for for the right place on Google. Um, Zena's come back actually and said from the previous one we did on websites that. It wasn't bad and it makes a good start. And do you know what? I think that is one of the key areas, really. You know, use it to help inspire and to help use it as a, as a, as a beginning bit. But you're still going to have to do a bit of research around it. You're still going to have to add to it and yeah. add your own sort of tone of mm -hmm. voice, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yes, I mean, all these questions, you know, you can, that, that's come up. Sorry, I'm sorry, the, the format on the screen means you can't read it all at once. But, um, um uh, length of the keyword doesn't matter much as its relevance to the conversation it's best to simplify and break them down so um that's i i don't i'm afraid i don't really know uh, i don't use long phone keywords i don't do that myself so uh, no okay hopefully that, hopefully that means a bit more to you but uh, again that's a, that's a, an example of how you could just ask them for ask um, the gpt program just for general advice on on a matter yeah yeah so again um hopefully hopefully that helps um so again i think anything with google analytics really um we're not the experts on seo uh probably Zena would be able to answer that who's watching us live today as well mm -hmm. in a little bit more a little yeah. bit more uh detail but i would just say if you're looking at your h1 stroke h2 headings which are headings that you put in there why yeah. don't i tell you what graham why don't you put um, we could type in something like the best keywords for the topic of a blog. Okay. Let's see if we can try that one and see what it co what it comes um, up with. Um, right. I mean, like anything, we've got you've got to take it with a pin pinch of salt. Some of this data I've written in, like you say, sometimes it's a little bit out of date. But we use this um, for those of Graham's one of our members in the social flock, as is Alex, who's jo joining us live. Um, and uh, what we tend to do is I challenge everyone on a Monday to write three posts in the social flock to give people accountability, to make sure people are writing that, um, make it, writing their posts every week for consistency. So we are all here to help to support each other. And some of the members have started using ChatGPT because actually when you put on the spot and told to write three posts for the week, when we're busy, it's very difficult to come up with ideas, but ChatGPT has actually helped mm -hmm. us to come up with those ideas, to then write those posts. And actually, I think, Graham, you get the record because you're writing blogs and social media posts. It's amazing how much content you can create in 45 yeah. minutes. Exactly, yeah. 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 yeah, Yeah. when we have our sessions, which we're having one 
a bit later on, aren't we? That um, yeah, we'll uh, yeah. I can. I think did I do five or six the other day in the, in the time? Yeah. Whereas yeah. everybody else who's starting from scratch, you know, we're doing three, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, so and go on. What have you got there? Yeah, some of those I didn't have to edit at all, and um, some I did. So this is ten best keywords for a website blog to improve SEO about selling T-shirts. Um, Ah, so there you go. So I, it can be used. I, I don't have much experience with this. So I have no idea whether those would be any good or not. But um... I would say, you know, again, double check. You mm -hmm. can type into Google to see if these ones are coming up. But um, mm -hmm. selling T-shirts probably wouldn't use marketing tips <laughs> if no, you're yeah. trying to use selling T-shirts. But but then, you know, um, graphic tees, clothing designs. Yeah, again, it's come up with some, you know, it's a, it's, mm -hmm. it's a base where you can start Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, selling T-shirts to an older audience. Yeah. Again, if you're yeah. watching this live and you want us to do yeah. a live demonstration or ask any questions, just pop them in the chat below. Yeah. Please do give us a thumbs up as well if you're watching live. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're watching on YouTube, please do subscribe. Um, to my channel or follow us on social media for lots of tips and advice and live streams like this every Monday. You'll, note, you'll notice on there that so having made it more specific by adding an old, for, to an older audience, it's made it much more specific. So, and that's yeah. what I've found is the more information and detail. You, you can you can write 100 words in each, in each of those two lines um, and the, the more detail you put in, the more specific the answers will be. Yeah. Because that is much better, isn't it? That list yeah. that they've just come up with then. So if we were selling T-shirts, mm -hmm. those are the sort of long tail keywords that we'd want to put into yeah. there. To, yeah, to an older yeah. older audience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully that's helped. Mm -hmm. Say it again. So, mm -hmm. um, so again, if you're watching this live or if you're watching this on catch up, then you know, do ask any questions. We will come back and answer those questions, but. This is a, just a great demonstration. And then, Graham, I assume you just then cut and paste it, say, into a Word document, or how do you use this information? I do, yes, here? just, um, yeah, just uh, yeah, copy and paste the, um, so that. So I'll just copy that into a Word document normally, and um, the, uh, and um, it will uh, just, uh, let me just double check, double check it'll work. So the beauty about us demonstrating this today yeah, is yeah. neither of us are an, neither of us are experts on um, chat GBT at all. Um, <laughs> we've both learned it. Um, yeah. You know, we you know it's just showing how simple it is to use uh, and to help us in our everyday blogging, in our everyday social media posts. Mm -hmm. um, Zena's just said she's found it really speeds up blogging, but as you said, you have to then work on it. I think yeah. it of I think of it like having a junior staff member who can do the first draft for you. Yeah, yeah. which is really that's good. Very, yeah, that's very good, very sensible that, yeah, that mm. um, because yeah, yeah, treat yeah, yeah, treat treat it like that new intern, uh, that that new unpaid intern that you've got working for you. And <laughs> you yeah, can, uh, yeah, so that's yeah. great, great idea. Mm -hmm. to do it look at it like that and and like you said graham it's going to get better and better isn't yeah, it absolutely yeah. we'll get better, better. and i think you know a lot of these will 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 go by the wayside so um it just depends on how much uh, backing which companies are doing it i think um microsoft are uh, getting into it in a, in a particularly big way and you're going to be um, it's they're going to try and encourage everyone to use bing which is where you where you'll use your ai and uh, and get get all the ideas from there so if people need to find this online then, how does it work? Is it like some software you download or how, how do they get access to well, it? Well, it's best, uh, um, I, I, I stumbled it on, across it on, on TikTok, actually. On <laughs> TikTok, yeah. Because <laughs> um, I'm a TikTok addict and it's very sad. But, um, the, um, and, um, but I could, I've got a, a little um, spreadsheet with all the information on how to, how to get it loaded, how to download it. You put it out, you have it as an extension on your spreadsheet or your Word document. Word document. This particular one just works on um, Google uh, Google Sheets, um, and so I can we can put a link to that, or we can down, send people the file, and they can they can upload it and start using it. Yeah, 
yeah yeah we can do that so i will put up after this live stream i'll put it in the comments below so if you come back after this is another alternative one that i use i'll put put this one in the chat um this isn't it, isn't, it, it does link through to the excel but i don't know is it chat.open.openai.com is that the same one graham chat.openai um let me just have a look because that's yeah. the one that i use anyway um um sorry uh but like i say i don't do it in the excel spreadsheet mine just sort of pops up with boxes and then i just copy i think, it is, I, think I think it is that one yes yeah mm, i think it's the mm. same one isn't it mm -hmm. so you can either use it in the excel excel spreadsheet like graham's been doing or you can actually just pop up and uh, and use it in in this through this link so you just have to register don't you but it is free isn't it yeah it's all free yeah and i mean no, no they're all free now because they're all competing with each other to try and get some market share uh, no doubt there will be charging plans will be will become available eventually yeah uh, yeah <laughs> definitely i think so they're going to want to monetize it somehow yeah mm -hmm. so well thanks for doing this today graham it's been really yeah. useful i've That's certainly pleasure, never yeah. used it yeah i'm a, you know i'm a bit of a <laughs> i'm a bit of a, a sort of um well-meaning amateur with this i've just used it myself so it's purely from my personal experience i won't claim to have any great inside knowledge or detailed knowledge of it but i'm learning all the time with it and i just encourage everyone just to experiment with it and try different types of uh, gpts until they find the one that suits them yeah yeah no well thank you so much and if you'd like to connect with graham i will um pop his linkedin you are very active on linkedin aren't you yep. so please do touch bait bait touch base with uh, with graham and um thank you so much for coming on and demonstrating how oh. to use chat gpt um and it's yeah it's been an absolute pleasure pleasure no, my pleasure entirely but great thanks Bex. thank you i will see you all again next week at 12 30 for more social media tips and advice mm -hmm. thanks for watching guys see you all later bye bye